using EtherWall Ethereum Wallet with your Trezor. Here I am at EtherWall.com. EtherWall, the first Ethereum desktop wallet. You can see that EtherWall does work with the Trezor. I'll go to Downloads. And you can see that there is a Microsoft Windows version, Apple Mac OS version, and Arc Linux version. I've already downloaded the Microsoft Windows version, so I'll close my browser. I'll extract the files. Go into the EtherWall folders. And I'll double click on the EtherWall application executable. EtherWall loads up. And now I'm prompted to import accounts from my Trezor. I can choose how many accounts I'm going to import. I'll choose 10. Click on Import. Now I need to enter my PIN, 8642. Click Next, and it loads up my 10 accounts. I'll copy one of these accounts, and click on the Transactions tab. Here you will see transactions if you had any. This is a new wallet, so I don't have any. I'll click on Send Ether. I'll paste in the address that I'm going to send to, my other wallet address. I'll enter in a value of ETH to send, 13, and then I'll click on Send. Now I need to confirm the send on my Trezor, so I'll click the Confirm button. Really send, I'll click the Confirm button again. And if I had Ether on here, it would send, but it says I have insufficient funds. I'll click on the Contracts tab. Here you can add a contract or deploy a contract. On the Currencies tab, you'll see the value of Ethereum. It's in Bitcoin, USD, Canadian Dollars, Euros, and Pounds. In the Settings tab, I can import more accounts or clear my Trezor accounts. You can see I'm on the Setting Trezors tab. If I click on the Basic tab, I can change the client from Thin Client to Full Node. And I can change the helper currency. So, if you don't want to use my Ether Wallet for your Ethereum account on your Trezor, you do have EtherWall as an option. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.